dance, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. I woke up, then I logged in to that Urban X where they be flexing with that blog in. Put it down, cause my little homie called in. Had to bail him out, he in trouble with the law again. Black skin can't win in the white world. Seen a brother kill his own kid for that white girl. We ain't wanna go to school, but we had to. Every February it was scary in them classrooms. Shimmy y'all, shimmy gay. Old dirty bastards can't own dirty slaves or they own dirty masters. Black dot found the pot as a young and broke it down for his son and now he serve it to the masses. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. A product of my residence from four score to 44. Obama was the president. I told mama I ain't trying to go to church. I'm like Adam, every Adam is a product of the dirt. And I've been reaping what he sowed. I got the product, got the dirt. And I can teach you what I know, but then you got him put in work. You in trouble if you waiting on the government. I told my bro I make it out the hood, and that's a covenant. Peace, peace. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Urban Next Podcast. Thank you guys for joining. We're your hosts. I'm Malcolm. This is the artist formerly known as the Black Dot. With you guys in the building. What's good, everybody? Number one father and son podcast. I almost forgot that. That's a fact. That's a fact. That needs to be said. Can't be understated. Uh, can't be understated. Can't be understated. We are that. We are. We are him. Or them. And them are us. And them are us. I'm saying thank y'all for joining. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Appreciate y'all for being here. I hope you guys had an amazing week. This was the longest week ever. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this is the Thursday show, and I almost forgot, like, we did a Monday show. Like, it felt like that long. And it was a good show, too. Yeah. Every show, to me, is a good show. But this, yeah, we was out here rocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, so uh, thank you guys for joining us. You got a nice cut, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sharp. I went to see my guy. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask you something about that because I was asking Mama Dot uh-huh. about this. Now you know when you go to Dominicans, they they lace you. That's a fact. They give you the razor cut. That's a fact. They it's just yeah yeah. They give you the Noxzema with the hot towel. Yeah, yeah. Massage. And thing. They got the massage thing. Blah 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 blah. They lay you back and you really feel like you're getting yeah serviced for your money. Now, the cool thing about my guy, he don't, first of all, he don't speak English, right? So whenever I be like, yo, he be like, I explain, uh, I, I explain, uh, and I can no do that for you, papi, you, you're a little older, yeah. you, you know? And so his thing is he has two of these hand massages, not one, mm. two. Whoa. So he hit me with the Noxzema and this cream, he laid me back, right? And what he does is, you know, the hot mm. towel hit my mm. face. Bang, bang, bang. Then he started working my shoulders. Oh, this is skinny. No, no, no. <laughs> skinny. And, and then I'm like, okay, you know, because I'm a little stressed. You know, I can... <laughs> and then, no no exaggeration, it's not a lie. He starts working my chest area. All right. Now, now. <laughs> now, no, listen. His hands are not touching my chest. The massages are. No, is no, that gay? No. <laughs> I asked Mama that. Is that gay? Is, is he? Is he trying to come on to me without me knowing? Like, I mean, because I'm not gonna lie. He, you know, I said, where, where, where's he going with this? And now he do it every week. You know, I, I don't say nothing because he's, he's like, you know, he works my neck with it. It's really nice, and then he works his way down here to my chest. And at first, I was really like, you know, like, oh, son, like, chill, son. And it feels really good. Like, <laughs> what kind of tip you gave him? $20. <laughs> I give him a $20 tip every time because I give him the $20 tip because he adds youth on the top of my head. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I walk in. <clears throat> I said, oh, we got a nice haircut. And then, like, I'm looking at you. I'm like, something yeah. is off, and I just can't pinpoint what is going on. Yeah. 
It's because you got more black hair than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so he hooks me up. But is that, is that like a... That's gay. That's gay. Is that a barber version yeah. of a happy ending? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 so I should, like, tell him to stop, right? Cause like, like, yo, yo, I'm, son. I'm married. Like, yeah. that's, you know... Yo, like, son, yo, yo. Like, yo, chill. Keep poppy. Like, how, how do I explain? <laughs> how I explain? Uh, keep it... Yeah, yeah. It's shoulder. Then that's it. No, no more... No more down. <laughs> don't go down here. You know, he don't stay down there long. Oh, but, you know, God. It's like a, Part of the, you know, the combination thing. I, okay, all right. One in the chat, if that's, if that's gay. <laughs> Put a one in the chat. <laughs> Put a one in the chat, if that's gay. I'm just asking. You know, is he coming on to me and I don't understand the, is that the barber language to like, oh I like God. you? I don't know. He don't speak English. I'm just, just that people said ones, ones, yeah. yes. Come on, man. <laughs> Straight ones. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm being molested at the barber. Come on, man. Wow. wow. Jeez. Somebody said 1.5. Negative nigga. one. <laughs> Negative one, nigga. <laughs> one, nigga, goddamn. I mean, Jeez, just, I, mean, I, I, I appreciate the, uh, the honesty. Uh, thank you for the super chats. Thank you guys yeah, for being here. Yeah. Listening to these stories, man. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to give up this uh, youthfulness <laughs> just because he wants to touch my, my chest, huh? Jesus Christ. I think it's Christ. a good trade-off. Just me. I, I think it's a good trade-off. Jesus Christ. Because it's, it's, come on, it's like playing basketball with a yeah. gay person. You, would you not come play? You, get, you, like, you can't, like, you got to, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, but if he guarding you, you That's know, true. and he up on you, like, yo, I'm just playing defense, this son. This is true. This I'm is just true. D'ing up, you know what I mean? And you're like, yo, so you D'ing up a little too hard. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? D'ing up a little too D'ing. Up a so little let's, too. Let's take a quick oh, quick uh, announcements, guys. Uh, twenty nine for twenty nine is almost over. Yes, Black History Month sales almost over. So don't forget visit shopurbanx.com. Yeah, for all these amazing pieces. Even these joints right here. I got the gold joint. Yeah, yeah. You nice. know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, design is one of the fit my favorites. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's one yeah. of the dope ones. Let yeah, me I see. Like it. Yeah, show like show that one. into the camera. Yeah, I like this one. Come on, y'all need to pick that up. Twenty nine. Twenty nine for twenty nine. Oh, oh. Time out. We got to. We got. We got to talk about some stuff too. Okay. We're, all right. Air it out, man. So, okay. So, guys, for members only, we have a. Uh, we announced that we make. We're having a forty uh, percent discount. For members only. Right? right. When there is not a sale running. You can run the tape back. We've said that plenty of times. When there's not a sale running. Now, something must have happened between, you know, in the back end of our system. Because mm -hmm. a few people were able to get 29% off and the extra 40%. And got mad Clap that when we peeped it, cut it off, and said, yo, how come I still ain't I'm like, come on, son. Come on. Honor system, people. Yeah, I mean, the system. if I can take advantage of a God loophole did. within your system, that's on you guys. You yeah, guys, yeah, we messed and that you up. know, and I had to, I wrote Mama Dot an, uh, an official letter because now I'm putting her on notice. So I can tell her I'm gonna fire her all I want, but once that letter go in writing, that's true. And, that, and you signed off on it, you're like, eh, this is my signature and yours. Now it's like these are because you costing us. That was bread, that, man. That bread right there. Yeah, bread, I like bread. Man. I'm like, God. They're getting 70% off. We might as well just send it to you. <laughs> and tell us what you want. Yeah, tell us what you want. Tell us what you want. It's yours. But well, goddamn. Work with us now. 69% spicy discounts. My yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's How funny. about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. And rub your chest. Shit. Do all that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, mm -hmm. man. I was pissed. I was pissed, but... Yeah, I was pissed, too. We had to take that on the chin. Pause. Yeah, yeah, pause. It's just uh, the way it goes. But, uh, yes, shopurbanx.com, and uh, let's do a quick roll call, then we get started. Yeah, let's huh? do some roll call in here. Quick roll call, and then we, I see Oak Town in the house. What's good? What's good, Oak Town? Who else we got? Who else we got? Um, um, Everybody just laughing at you being gay. Cleveland in the building. Cleveland, Harlem. Alabama. Harlem was good. Jacksonville, what's good? What's good, Jacksonville? <clears throat> GA. Griffin, GA. Uh, Philly, every week. Louisiana, I don't know. I don't Jamaica. Wanna, I don't want to ruin the town. New Haven. Plainville. Charlotte, Mississippi. Mississippi, what's good? Philly. Raleigh. What's good? Jonesboro, Arkansas. Far Rock. Far Rock, Mississippi. 
Man, y'all Las Vegas was good. Cincinnati, Miami was good. Roxbury, B more. B more. Man, I love it all. We are all here. We thank you. Hit that like button on your way in this piece. Absolutely. Do that too. Do that because that helps us out with the algo and rhythm guys. You know what I mean? Gets mm -hmm. us rocking. And uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, big news uh, today. Wendy Williams uh, of, you know, uh, what was she on? Hot 97? Hot, she no, was on no, WBLS. WBLS. She was on WBLS. She was on um, TV as well, the Wendy Williams show. Um, she got diagnosed with a form of uh, dementia today. Right, and yeah. something, and um, I, I don't know the other word. The other uh, alphesia, alphesia. I don't something. know what that is. Please, alphesia. huh? Alphesia, alphasia. Do you know what that is, Mama Dot? Yes, when they can't remember. Oh, so it's connected to uh, to the, okay, dementia. Yeah. They kind of work together. Got okay, it. it's where they their memory is lost a little bit. So I remember uh, the the preview to her doc uh, came out a while ago, a couple weeks ago. And she looked bad on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just yeah. looked like she is like kind of withering away, deteriorating. Mm -hmm. She looked real bad. She's talking about the money she doesn't have and things like that. And when the news came out of, you know, the dementia, I saw mix, saw mix um responses. Some people were saying, good for her, she's always been a piece of shit. And then other people were going, okay, she might have had this past, but like that's still, you know, damn. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna err on the side of uh I, I feel for her. Same, same. You know what I mean? And and don't same. get me wrong, you know, she has had her moments, uh, you know, where she shook up the industry where she was a thorn in the side of certain individuals. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, gossip was the name of the game. She is the queen of gossip radio and yeah. gossip TV. You know, that was her thing. And, you know, uh, she got, she became famous off the Whitney Houston thing, really. Mm -hmm. She was always local with, you know, having stories over the heads of people like so called Diddy and mm -hmm. Eric Sermon and a few other people that she knew some inside things about. But it wasn't until she did the Whitney Houston radio interview where Wendy called, uh, Whitney called in and they had this exchange. That she became a, like a national phenomenon, which probably led to her daytime talk show. And she filled the void for a lot of people who didn't have jobs in the daytime, who sat home and wanted to hear the tea or so called tea. And um, so, but again, and I'm not attributing her condition to that, mm -hmm. probably more to drug use, mm -hmm. if anything, and drug abuse. Mm -hmm. Over the course of X amount of years. Yeah, I read a book. I forget what book it was. I think it was by Damon John. And he was just kind of like, she was a story highlighted in his book. And she was like interviewed. And they were going over like her daily schedule. This is when the show was at its peak. And I was just like, God. Damn. It was just yeah. like nonstop. Yes. And um, some of the reports on some of the drugs that she was taking, it was for to, to stay up. Like Most of these... To stay up, to have energy, to be on. You know what I mean? A lot of times, Malcolm, and I hate to say it, when you, when there's a demand on you for that level of hours, you need a substitute. That's mm -hmm. like me drinking a goddamn Red Bull. Like, you know, I know this is bad, but I know it's going to give me... And so cocaine is the, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm, uppers. Like and, four or five, I think five years ago, I went to Costa Rica with like a travel. Cocaine. No, I didn't. I didn't do cocaine. Oh. But it was like a travel group. And it was like this group, they go to like different countries to like party and stuff like that. And I, I would remember thinking like, yo, for your job to be to like a party, like this mm -hmm. is your job. This is how you make money. You have to be on all the time. And I saw them doing coke. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this makes Complete sense. Yes. Because, yes. like... Because on, on Coke, you could stay up two, three days, you know, with, mm -hmm. like, a small mm -hmm. nap in between and get up and do Coke again, and you back on it. I wouldn't know. Yeah. I wouldn't well, know. Well, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. And so, it's different than being mm -hmm. on, like, a Quail... Well, mm -hmm. Quaaludes is, is similar. Um, different than being on, like, acid or something, because mm -hmm. you don't know what you're going to be doing for that 18, yeah. 19 oh, hours. You could be... Walking on the edge of a rooftop, or you nah, could be man. sitting under a park bench laughing. Yeah. But the cocaine just keeps you focused. But there are consequences for your actions. Mm -hmm. You are the sum 
of your actions mm -hmm. in this reality, mm -hmm. no matter what it is. If you sit around eating burgers all day, you know what I mean? And then you weigh 300 pounds and you need a 7X yeah. <laughs> uh, hoodie, <laughs> that is the sum of your actions. If yeah. you sniff cocaine all day long and then when the cocaine doesn't help, <clears throat> you need a quaalude on top <clears throat> of that. And then you drink an alcohol with that, yeah. and it, 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 it's the <clears throat> sum of the action. And there's going to be consequences for it. And I think as a result of all the years in her prime, this is, you know, uh, uh, you know the byproduct of that, I'm thinking, more so than anything else. Because she looked bad. Her legs, did you see yeah, her legs? It yeah, just, yeah, yeah. And, you know, what you want, and this is just me, you want to transition gracefully. I know I do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be out looking like death is near. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was my problem with the family of Muhammad Ali, who I felt was the greatest of all time, who stood for more than you could imagine in his days when he was doing this yeah. and they had him holding up. I, white people don't do that to their legends. And here we are, and we showed the most powerful man, I feel, mm -hmm. behind Malcolm X for what he stood for mm -hmm. in reference to publicly. Mm -hmm. When he got sick, he should have just stayed out of the limelight and then transitioned that way. Just my humble opinion. And so um, I don't want Wendy's, the final uh, viewing of her to be of, you know, yeah. this way because... Whether you liked her or not, she is the pioneer. Yo, listen, what of you everything you see now. How about yeah, what you're seeing now on the internet and a lot of podcasts, uh, with everything. She kind of birthed a lot of that. She birthed a lot of it. Like, yeah, she like blew her up night. Mr. C spot. She blew up a lot of people. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know things that she did. So, um, you know, we have to at least give her her flowers. For that mm. aspect of it, because she's made a lot of people money. Yes, you know what yeah. I mean. And and and, and <clears throat> again, we we talked about it in the beginning. Made a lot of enemies as well. Yeah, we still ain't see Bruce Willis yet. This is what I mean. I saw. I saw, I saw, I saw one yeah. slight picture, but he wasn't looking crazy. I, well, you know who was out there looking crazy in his old age? George Bush Senior. Oh yeah, he yeah, looked yeah. like The Walking Dead. Yeah, well, I think uh, they did that on purpose. Probably. Yeah, they, like, oof, oof. they did that because they probably hated their fucking excuse me, their dad. She was a downhill path ever since the Doctor Oz interview. Man, that is a good about the jab. Point. Yes, that that is a great point. When she went if you, off when you, script, yeah, when you start doing, yeah, when you start like doing the timeline, because they they kind of started to, to force her off the air. Not shortly after that. She pulled the Kanye. Yeah. When he said George Bush don't like black people. Her answer, which was a truthful one, mm. I don't think Oz was expecting that. I don't think Fox News was expecting mm. that. And from that moment on, that became the end of, you know, situation. I'd like to maybe interview Mr. G. Okay. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Facts, maybe we facts, could facts, interview facts, Mr. Facts. G who was... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a producer on her show for many years. Well, she, yes. You know, if he would be willing to have an open and candid, but certain things you just keep close to mm -hmm. the chest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so it's a tough situation. And because she ain't never said nothing personal about me, I don't have no yeah. personal agenda. I appreciated some of the information that she brought about, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, okay. She definitely birthed the genre. It's crazy, yeah. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So uh, yesterday, for a while, there were um, there were thousands of people complaining about their cell phone service being out. A lot of AT and T people, Verizon and people, and today, and today, people. yeah. So it was like yesterday into today. A lot of people for a long time, national um, cell phone outage that a lot of people were complaining about. And it went on so long that people were going up to AT and T store, and the workers like, I don't, I just work here, bro. Like, I don't, right? Yeah, I don't know yeah. what's going on. But what people were saying was this was clearly a cyber attack that was happening against the country because of how long it went on, because of how they were a lot of people weren't getting information from AT and T and things like that. What was going on? And people are now 
nervous because it goes back to the uh, Leave the World Behind movie that happened on Netflix and people were saying like what cell phone outage can mean for survival, what it can mean yeah. for food, what it can mean for money, what it can just mean. No, I think that's a great point, Malcolm. And the cover story, of course, is going to be solar flares. Mm-hmm. Ah, I saw that. Yeah, that's yeah, always yeah. the cover story because they don't want people to panic. Mm-hmm. Information is vital. So how we deal with a catastrophe in the upper management of our society is important. Yes. Now, we have become so dependent on our cell phones and, you know, things of that nature. And it wasn't just cell phones. Pharmaceuticals couldn't fill prescriptions. prescriptions, And the list goes on and on and on. And then they also like to do these test runs. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we solar flares going to go out, solar. And then the big hit comes, but it could very well have been a cyber attack. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of sorts to show you, you know, because the war, the, the next war is not going to be, we're gonna, they're going to let you kill yourselves. That's what Leave the World Behind was really all about. Yeah. How many people are ready for survival? How many people got enough food, water, first aid kit, uh, uh, and, and uh, weapons to hold down because the weak, uh, you know, are going to mm. come those weeks? Because when you get hungry, bro, yeah, it's a different ball game. Especially if my daughter crying, I ain't Especially lying. Especially if my daughter crying, I ain't lying. Y'all know the science. And so this is where, you know, America can be turned on itself in reference to, because we all need uh, electricity and the internet and shit. If 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 Instagram go down, there's people having a panic. I, that happened. You know, that happened last year around this yeah, time. I don't yeah, know if you guys yeah, remember that. Yeah. Remember Just every, like, Instagram. Face, no, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram and, and and people are losing. Yeah. It. And so it's just something to keep an eye on, uh, you know. Because remember, this week we also heard about truckers not making their way to New York yeah. to make deliveries in support of Donald Trump. Uh, and now we're getting the cyber attacks. We saw that huge explosion in VA in that area. A lot of military mm. bases are. And, you know, it's a lot that if we begin to piece it together, we see, you know, portions of what could be, let alone UFOs and, you know. Yeah, I forget. As a politician, he said that if you think this is bad, wait till China um, does their, uh, um, I forget what the attack is, really, what was it, like, um, the device is really called, but their cyber attack on the U.S. before they uh, invade Taiwan. Because mm. I think that's coming soon. I don't know when, but I think that's coming soon. I know I'm, I'm talking about the Taiwan thing. China right, Taiwan right. Thing. Well, they're moving closer to uh, getting on that Taiwan bandwagon. And, and then think about this, right? So America, and this is, America has um, basically said, like, we're riding with Taiwan. We got y'all. You know what I'm saying? We recognize y'all, at, you know, as sovereign and stuff like that. We're giving a lot of money still to Ukraine, now to Israel. Um, migrants in our own country, we're giving money to. Yes. And then we were supposed to fund Taiwan's defense thing. Yes. And then and then what happened, because recently in Ukraine, this is, this is in, in Ukraine, they had to retreat from a real prominent position that they had in the country. They had to retreat because they're getting their ass with. They've been getting their ass with. Okay. okay? So now Hillary Clinton and other politicians are saying, see, I think Nancy Pelosi as well, see... We need to give more bullets and more ammunition to Ukraine because um, they clearly need it, right? They had mm. to retreat from this position. But just a few months ago, they were saying they're doing good. We need to give them more weapons. So Which their position, is, yeah. regardless, is for us to give them more weapons. And on top of that, Malcolm, a lot of high-profile politicians and Rich people have been selling a lot of stock. They've been selling a lot of stock. Yes, a lot. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's connected to Mm -hmm. everything is connected. They get first wind of what's coming down the pipe. And a lot of them are selling, selling, selling. And I'm not sure if this is a part of the collapsing of the American dollar so they can go with CBDC. Mm. You know what I mean? And move us on to the digital currency bit. Because remember, it's got to be a problem, and then there's going to be a reaction, and then mm. there has to be a solution. That's the only way you keep this thing intact mm. and going. 
And so let's pay attention to the cyber attacks, yeah. the explosions of great magnitude. You know what I'm saying? Let's, the truckers, what they're talking about, and the people who are selling stock. Yes. <clears throat> and Taiwan yeah. and Ukraine and how much money and, and is guys, going on. guys, listen, listen. I, I know it's a lot. It always feels like something else is happening. It always feels like we need to be on go mode all the time. Just don't be, like, our, our motto up here is control what you can control. So what Absolutely. can you control? You can control your preparedness. Yes. You can't control what the governments are doing. You can't control what any of that's happening. Right. Control you and your family and you guys' preparedness. But, like, you waiting around. Don't don't wait around for anything to happen because you waiting. You'll go don't crazy. Don't be reactionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Just don't be reactionary <clears throat> on things that you can control. That's all. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, This ain't a fear factor conspiracy theory. Side note, I'm having a conversation with Mama Dot. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen. These migrants are taking over, man. Mm -hmm. This is not a good look. She tried to get ultra conspiracy theorists with me and said, listen, I think it's connected to AI. She's going to tell me the migrants are coming here to kill the humans so that AI could take over the government. And I'm not going to lie, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I, I stopped in my track. You know how you look at somebody? I'm like... <laughs> You connected the migrants to AI. You know what? I'm and, rolling. I'm rolling. And, I'm and, 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 and world depopulation. She had she had everything up in the wall. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, she had the, 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 the yarn connected yeah, to yeah. I said, okay, I see where you going with that. She said, follow me. Follow me. I got this. I got this. You going with that, mama. Got then I walked out the room and I was like, this, this is crazy. I know I done said some crazy shit. She I'm pulled following. her whole shoulder out every I'm, day. I think I'm putting out, picking up what you're putting down, my Yeah, I'm looking at her like you that. So that's that's what you got from that. Yeah. And I said, so scared the hell out of me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Mama Dot was. She hanging out with me a little too much. God damn it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. She went off the deep end on that one. Yeah. I'm following her. I'm following her. I'm with you. I'm with you, I'm I'm with you, with you. now. I was like a good story now. So um, what I was what I was also gonna say, the the migrants in um in New York City, it's getting worse every time I look up. Apparently, uh, Mayor Adams is coming up with a new <laughs> program that he's giving uh, debit card cities um migrants that that don't need any ID, any form of identification, uh, ten thousand each. It, it, I saw that. Yeah, well, I'm getting in line. No, no, eh, no, no, speaking English. I am this dark. I look at my hair. I know, I know black. black. I know black. I know black. I know black. I know black, <laughs> I know black. <laughs> I know black. <laughs> black like this. I know black. <laughs> I have no ID, nothing. I I I need money. Give me ten thousand. Yeah, I'm I'm on the list too. That is yeah. Like what is happening? Yep. What is happening? And then I saw videos of them fighting the police. Oh, on, they on, was going on Randall's ham Island at the shelters. On the police in the shelters. Like don't come up in here with that. Because they was arresting, you yeah. know, somebody who probably did a crime. It's a new gang, I forget the name of it, that has now emerged in New York City. And they have joined forces with MS-13, according to a police officer. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And they are the ones who are responsible for all these chain snatchings, phone snatchings. Uh, uh, and it, it, it makes more sense. So, but like, what... So... Let's say, let's say we're not under attack here, right? Let's say this is not an invasion. Let's say, what is the political strategy regarding this? If you're Mayor Adams, if you're the Democrats, if you're Biden. Well, because, because I don't think it's voting. So like they're, they're not voting. They no, no. But they remember they want to give them an opportunity to vote. Mm. The thing is, they're gonna let them vote locally first. This is what I'm hearing. Mm. You know, so they can be a part of you know the, the, mm. this. And before you know it, they'll be voting. Um, again, I think they have doubled and tripled down on it. They would rather do that than admit that Donald Trump was right. Yo, remember his first, remember Donald Trump's first ever, like, press conference? He said, they're not sending over their best. And people was like, ah, racist. And now we're looking over like, God damn. He said, build the wall. Build they're the not wall. sending their best over here. <sighs> They sent in killers and rapists and drug dealers. He said it, and it was so harsh, but it was so true. So in order, rather than admit that he was right, people are just applauding 
and applauding. Yo, and you got to think. And applauding uh, Biden, you know, th- at all costs. And we're stuck on stupid. Yo, think about how much has gone crazy. Like, think about how, like, wild the country, this world has gone because nobody wants to seem like... Uh, a bigot, or nobody wants to seem like a bad guy. A lot of this trans stuff, nobody wanted to be a bad guy, right? But we were stuck on stupid. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. now all of a sudden, we're coming out of it like, yeah, that don't make sense. Yeah, everybody's like, time out, wait, yeah. hold on. Yeah, yeah. And, and see, sometimes, and this is what I never want to do, I never want to go with the flow. I don't care how much you like me or dislike me, I have to hold on to the only thing I'm in control of or at least I feel I'm in control of, yeah. is my thoughts. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they may be unpopular, but I'm never going to abandon common sense. I keep telling y'all that. I stand on common sense. I ain't the most ultra deep, intelligent, or this and that, but I do stand on common sense. Sense can I identify as a migrant to get one of the? That's all I'm saying. Thanks, ten thousand dollars. That, that solves a lot of problems black. right now. I know black. That'll solve a lot of That'll issues. That'll solve a lot of issues right now. For Ten lot. Come on, bro. You know, and so never abandon. Yeah. Your common sense. I teach that to all my children, and people who rock with me. Never abandon that. Once you start abandoning that, and say yeah. Them trans women basketball players as dudes can play with my daughter and dunk on her yeah. and bust her teeth out and wrestle her to the ground and snap yeah. her neck. That's right. This is America. Yeah. You, you, you're abandoning yeah. your common sense. Just so they don't say you're a Republican yeah. or you're a conservative, yeah, you're a MAGA. A you're like literally. You can call me anything you want to call me. I know right from wrong. Yeah. I know right from wrong, and that is not right. Oh, did you guys see the um that Fox News clip going around and he was talking about the Trump sneaker and how because black people like sneakers in the black community, mm-hmm. that's going, you know, garner a lot of votes for Trump. And I'm just like, God damn. But, but But is he telling the truth? I'm not surprised. Here's the thing. I'm not surprised. No, I, no, 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 no. He's he's not. We we not come on, we that slow? No, okay, but look at what Biden, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. True. So Trump just used a different for huh? Mm-hmm. True. These are nice. <laughs> oh, high top. You look I'm, fresh. You look fresh. Yeah. And I know the high tops. I did the high tops because yeah. I know the blacks. They, you know, any, a game can break out at any time with the blacks. Great people, the blacks they are. You know? I mean. And people are upset about that because they're like. Which you should be. I mean, you should. for those of us who are intelligent. Absolutely. You but should I feel like tell- they, they, talk, they, they talk about black people politically, both sides, by the way, like your children. But Malcolm, 85% of yeah. the population are knuckle draggers. Because people, was, cause people yeah. was on Twitter like, oh, this is what they think of you. And I was like, and Democrats just gave you a hip hop task force. Yes. To, to combat inequality. Like, and what? Hillary Clinton says she has hot sauce. Bro. In her bag. And Biden said, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Bro. And I done saw the twerk parties, you know what I'm saying? And this the, and that. The battle rappers. Twerking the battle rappers. He said, we need to vote for Biden. Yeah, just it just it just kept going on yeah. and on and on. No voting, and, no vo- no fucking. Yeah, you know? <sighs> This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, on both sides, and I, on I both just, sides. I just want everybody to see. It. They think like they think you guys are children. Yes, yes. You don't have a mind for yourself. You are in, impressed by shiny things. Like right now, Biden um, apparently forgave like one point two billion dollars in student debts. Mm-hmm. And the email was just like, I know this might help, be able to help you out. This is from Biden. Like, hey, this is Joe Biden. I think this might help you out. That's like buying a vote, no? Yeah, it's just buying more than a couple of votes. That's buying votes. Yeah, yeah. And so now it begins. Yeah. Yep. And side note, how come, going back to the student loans, we getting cell phone outage. Why they never get the student loans? Right. How come they never they wipe never that out? They never get stuff that matters. They ne- and, uh, When you want to know about the unknown, Malcolm, what do you study? What do you study? You know, you study to know. Yeah. Everything else going out but the shit that matters. Yeah. How come the IRS records ain't never wiped out? Huh? Makes you wonder who's really doing the cyber attacking. Exactly. Hmm. 
Just interesting. Exactly. Come on, man. You know? Come on, man. How come my EBT, that's what people say in the hood, ain't never got an extra $500 on it? You know what I'm saying? But y'all sure enough to do this and do that. Right. Uh, uh, just, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, um, this week on TikTok, there was uh, a woman that went viral. Yeah, that's my girl, Risa Tisa. Risa Tisa, uh, the, the, her at name on, on TikTok. So she had a series, a 50-part TikTok series. 52 to be exact. 52? I believe it was 52. Uh, 52 to be exact. <laughs> Who the F did I marry? Mm-hmm. Okay, in which she talks about um, her relationship in 2021. I think this all happened. And a bunch of twists and turns. And guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I listened to some of it. And this is what happened. This is what happened. I'm driving, and wifey was listening to it, and then, you know, you kind of like... Ear hustling. Like, he did what? You know what I'm saying? He got that off. No, he didn't. And now I am kind of intrigued, and I'm halfway through it. So, but the story's crazy. The story's crazy. And apparently, how many views she got? 50 million 50 views. 50 million views. So they got to turn this into... I, I want her I need. I want her to get better treatment than the Tubi movie. Tyler Perry's going to take this I over. need not. Mm. And what's that lady, uh, what's the one? She always played a wicked black lady. She was with them kids that time. She ran over that person with the car. Uh, you know, oh, that, oh, oh, I know who you're <laughs> you talking about. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Big eyes and shit, black lady. She was on the side listening to the kids. Yeah. I oh, like on aunt so-and-so. What's her name? She was uh, buying the kids drinks and shit. Yeah. Oh, you know the movie. Yeah, you know what I'm talking exactly about. You know what I'm talking about. about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think they're going to make this into a Octavia movie. Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer. That is her day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a movie. It's going to be a movie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, what's your take on the whole thing? For first of all, my take is... Um, be brutally honest, because that's what we do here. Okay, let's be brutally honest. So, when I first... Because I, I saw rumblings about this on Twitter... And when I saw her, I said, okay, all right. When you saw her, what did you think? I you? thought she was probably desperate to be married. Okay, now why would you think that? Because she was a fat lady? No, she just, the way she's telling the story and what she's believing, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. this makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, well, like, you know what I mean? That, you know, because that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just me. Just okay. me. But I do appreciate how much detail she's telling in the story because she said that she kept her own voice. Uh, voice diaries, so she's just going back and listening. Mm -hmm. She remembers exact dates, sentences, like everything about the story. And I was telling, we were telling Mama Dad that the way she tells the story kind of keeps you there. Yeah, she's not a great storyteller per se. Yeah, but once you get invested in like, it, right, so we've all watched YouTube videos of. You, you go to the video for this, like, learn how to change a tire, and then they talk for five minutes about everything else. You're just like, yo, fat fam, tell me what how to do this. Yeah. I don't get that with her. I just kind of go, oh, snap, like... And I'm going to say this. Because she's an everyday person, a lot of women, from what I understand, can relate. Let me sum the story up real quick without giving the whole yeah, thing away. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm not done she yet. met some dude during covid she moved him in. She married him. He had a fantastic story about his life. And then it all just came crumbling down piece by piece by piece by piece. And so that's the overall summary. The story's crazy. And some of the stuff you would go, I would never fall for yeah. that. But so, and that's what some of those details, I'm just like, you wanted this to work. And I get it. Yes. And, and see, that's what cognitive dissonance that's what that's, that's what that is. is about. Yes. And when you're feeling lonely, there are a lot of women uh, who, you know, who just want, they'd rather have a piece of a man yeah. than no man at all. And yeah. that's, I'm not generalizing. I'm just simply saying. And when you catch the right ones, he was getting off some wild. He stories. was getting off some wild. Listen, I've had game. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, I've, I've said wild shit in like a one night situation. I, I've said some wild shit to get in the panties. I mean, all kind of. I'm so and so connected to so and so. Yeah. And right after so, because when we hook up later, yeah. and I've. 
went all the way to the point where I've gotten dressed like I was going to work and dropped her ass off to come back around and go back in my house and go fuck sleep. So, it, you know, that's yeah. a one-day yeah. thing. And then when you call me back, I'm like, look, it's not you. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. And yeah. I got shit I got to figure out in my life. Yeah. But no, it, it, you, yeah. was, you was good. Yeah. You know? And so, I, I, that, but that's a very short to be able to sustain now, a lie yeah, that's to the a point mental, where we're, we're married. Yeah, that's a mental sickness like on both we're parts. We're going down the aisle, and yeah. I love you. And within a four, but this happened in a four month period, guys. Yeah. Right. So for for this to happen, you have to want this to happen. Bro, I, like when, when, again, before I cut you off, yeah. scams only work. We're willing participants because you're looking for something. Yeah. In this box, my nigga is. TVs. Yeah. You looking for a brand new TV? I got one on display right yeah. here. Yeah. I, why would I, the rest of them are TVs, and yeah. then you get home and it's a box of bricks. Or, you know, only you can only get scammed because you're looking to get something for nothing. Yeah. And so she was looking for love. Yeah. And he had a scam. And, and apparently, the universe was trying to give her signs from the beginning. The universe On the way is, to the date, her tire blew. God was like, no. Yes, 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 <laughs> no. yes. And these are the signs that the ancestors are trying to say, look. Chill. But you, you keep running these red lights after red lights, red flag after red flag after red flag. Yeah. Until she was heavily invested and it just got crazy. Yeah. So somebody said Tyler Perry is going to do this. Side note, Tyler Perry said apparently he was uh, expanding his uh, um, studio. Okay. His, his his studio. I think like eight hundred million dollars. He was trying to he was trying to um, expand mm. it to. But when he saw the uh, Chat GPT Open AI Sora thing, where you the the uh, the text to video. He said, what? I, I don't need none of that. I could just... Yeah. So... People... And now you're waiting for the chat GTP to get perfect. Yeah, so he was... He, yeah. It was it was an $800 million studio expansion that he put on hold. And then um, he said that jobs are going to be lost when he saw the new AI, Sora. It is. It is. Because now the imagination of the film director has no limits. Yeah. Now I can create the scenario I need... I can create the background people. I can create the ambiance, the setting. I, I, I need to be on a street corner, this, that, and that, and that, and that. And it placed my two main characters yeah. superimposed and all of that. And it's going to make the next uh, uh, vision of filming different. So, so what this means is if you're in the film industry, or if you are in graphic design, your job is to learn everything there is to learn about this. Right. Because now... And add it to your repertoire. Now it's going to give you an opportunity to do a big budget film with a small budget. Yeah. It's already a 14-year-old kid somewhere with endless hours and an imagination on his hand that's going to take this to the next level. And yes, it is going to cost people a lot of jobs. Yeah. I don't need a thousand, uh, you know... Be, uh, but non that's, what, that's what they went, that's what they went on strike for. I understand. Yeah, that was a feudal strike for no reason at all. Well, that was for the people in stop technology. Yeah, yeah. But that, but that was for the people in those unions. Yes. Right. So independent films. I'm curious to see what an independent film looks like. Like, say, I can get a whole script written. I can get voiceover act AI voiceover actors. I can get this in the back. I can do my whole movie from my computer now. Yes. I'm curious to see what that looks like. I don't and think it'll be good for it starting now, but you know. And go, can you tell the difference? Yeah. You know, interesting stuff. But back to girlfriend. Yeah, back to her. Um, I heard she got some bread behind this. Yeah, about three, four million dollars. What? I'm, I'm, yeah, because of the 50 million views Something with the way TikTok pays it out. What? From what I'm understanding, Shouts don't quote to me. her. She about, she, she about to get a real man She now. on her way to vacation. She about to get... <laughs> Remember, she on her way to Paris or somewhere. Oh, that's fine. And, and now, listen, once a sucker... Yeah. Always a sucker. Now, you know. Now, you know something I, I always knew was something about you, Risa? Mm -hmm. Tisa? Tisa Risa? <laughs> Reese's Pieces? Uh, you know, whatever your name is. And I, I see the beauty in you now mm -hmm. that I didn't see before. And I'm so hurt by what happened to you. 
Let me just buy you a drink. No, 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 you got money. Let me buy you a drink. Here's my social security card. <laughs> my proof of funds. Here's my proof of funds. Hey, yo, yo, Here's but, my cash. So, but you know what the thing is now with, with this? Like, everything sounds like a lot of your girl now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything. Like, I, you know. I saw people on TikTok <laughs> running up, women running up on their husband. <laughs> Who you on the phone with? Because yeah. <laughs> he was having these elaborate conversations. Put, put, put it on speaker. With nobody. Yeah. Let me see your birth certificate. Yeah. Where you said you from? <laughs> like, what? One dude was laying in bed, and he wasn't in on it. He yeah. was like, what are you two? He said, no, 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 no. Where you from? <laughs> and he was like, yo, well, honey, what, what, are, you, what are you talking No, 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 yeah. no. And I just thought it was real funny. There's some dudes faking to be the Legion guy. Oh my god! Man, like, nah, Mama, you lying. I, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't said none of that. Yeah. Just, and the, yo, the the kicker, the dude had a twin brother. I'll just say that. Oh what? Who was actually living the life that this dude was portraying? Oh, to live. So no, it, it is a movie. It uh, yeah, is. I gotta finish it. I gotta finish it. It is. I, I get the, back with my, my my you know my recap. But uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. She says she wasn't monetized. Yeah. Was she about to be monetized? Oh, whether she like it or not. This is about to happen. Yeah, whether she like it or not. Somebody gonna buy the story. Listen, man. Yeah, but once oh. you get in into about 20 episodes, you gotta finish it. Man. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? Tubi is gonna recreate this with different names. Because they do that without yeah, your permission. Yeah, yeah. Like, they gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she better copyright it. I yeah, hope she does. She better. I hope so. Because that story's crazy. But uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we shall return. And we shall Don't return. touch that down. Don't touch it. Come celebrate our urban wear and style with our exclusive clothing collection featuring powerful messages that inspire and uplift. Urban X presents its annual 29 for 29 sale where we celebrate our heritage, our culture, and our lineage. 29% off all items in our store, all $29. The choice is yours. Shop UrbanX.com. Wear the style, wear the images, wear the powerful messages that resonate with our community. 29 for 29 at UrbanX.com. Every day is Black History Month for us, but during this month and during this time, we will celebrate with pride like never seen before. Shop UrbanX.com. Shop UrbanX.com. To all of you Dr. Sebi followers, I've got something for y'all. Discover the untold story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book titled My Journey with Dr. Sebi. Visit www.myjourneywithdrsebi.com to place your order and receive a free copy of the audiobook with over four hours of exclusive content. Tired of reading, doing research, and extensive studying to fact check the information that you present? Well, now you don't have to. Become a YouTube scholar. That's right, a YouTube scholar. Throw away those books. No need to quote real scholars. Burn those research papers. All you need is a YouTube connection. Watch YouTube videos at night, in the daytime, during breakfast, while you're on the toilet. Impress your friends with information you really don't know. After 100 videos watched, you are now a YouTube scholar. To sign up for this program, dial 1-800-Y-STUDY. That's 1-800-Y-STUDY. But wait, there's more. Log on to shopurbanx.com to pick up the latest in urban apparel. Hello, wealthy family. It's your favorite Pisces, Chanel, a setting infinite goddess, here to celebrate my birthday with you. That's right. In order to celebrate my birthday, February 28th, I am marking all my services off 28%. Whether it's a couple's oracle reading, a mental healing session, or a chakra balancing session, all my services are 28% off. And since it's a leap year, we're going to add extra savings. And when you spend $100 or more, you get an extra 10% off. Just enter coupon code BIRTHDAY. 
Thank you so much for connecting with me, Wealthy Family. Be sure to visit my website, www.ascendinginfinitegoddess.com or call or text me at 786-828-8722 to schedule your services with me today. Until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. And we're back. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate y'all for being here. Yes. It's always a pleasure. Yes, yes. Got that sale going. 29 for 29. And it's in conjunction with Ascended Infinite Goddess who has a sale going. She has her sale going. Her link is in the description below. Link's in the description. Continue to give us the support we need. Yes. To push this thing forward. You know what I mean? To tell a friend so we can push this thing forward. We think we on to something here. Uh, we think we cover enough. We I think, think so we too. mix it in lovely. Uh, you know, with some information you need, some information you don't need. That's true. You know, it's all in there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's all in there. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. so we love what we do. Hey, so let's get to some more stuff. Yes. Somebody said they tried to dial one eight hundred Y study. And the line was busy, so... Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of people on that line. People want to study. A lot of people on They don't want to study. They, they want to become YouTube scholars. Quick. They want to watch 50 YouTube videos. Get their uh, TikTok PhD now. That's yes. Even, that's, even, that's an even faster program. A very fast. Accelerated program. An accelerated program. That's TikTok. the accelerated program. You know what I'm saying? You're listening to the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, guys, and I hate to bring it back here, but it's it's just the gift that keeps on giving. The uh, Cat Williams uh, 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 interview with Shannon Sharp that has splintered off into so many different problems with so many different people. Mm. Now, uh, Donnell Rollins and Corey Holcomb got into it at the Laugh Factory the other night. I heard. Corey Holcomb was on stage, and him and um, uh, Donnell Rollins, a.k.a. Ashley Larry, they were going back and forth. Like off stage, a like, shouting know. match. Yeah, man. What, like, yeah. Well, remember, uh, Corey Holcomb said some things about Dave Chappelle. Yes, that you know he he's bombed a lot, you know, in person. Yeah, and and so now we have we we got a comedian cat fight going on. Ashley Larry didn't like that. Yeah, and he called Ashley Larry. I think, a, a, well, in front of him, a mild comedian. Yeah. And so, um, you know, Ashley Larry got a special coming out on... On Netflix. On Netflix. That's produced by Dave. That's produced by Dave. And so this might also be a little hype for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so it's just getting really, really... Uh, it's getting really bad. I didn't think uh, these many comedians would be offended by one rock that was thrown. Oh, yeah. That I, I, it wasn't it off into 40 pieces that wasn't even aimed at half like, of these Like, literally, they, he didn't... Kat didn't name neither one of those two dudes, but somehow they're arguing off of something Kat said. Like, I always think that is yes. fascinating. Even Godfrey, who we're going to see Saturday. We're going to see mm. Godfrey Saturday. Me, wifey, we're going to take Eli with us. Um... He apologized to Terry Crews. Okay. Because he did a bit, you know, when he went in on Terry Crews. And so it's 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 the byproduct of the rumblings of something that's just this is turned into a phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. This is turned into a phenomenon. It's really, really crazy. Crazy. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I did see, I saw Ashley Larry do stand up one time, and he was funny. He's funny. He wasn't off the meat rack funny, yeah. but he was funny. You know what I mean? So now for him to have a Netflix special, uh, I, I'm hoping that it's, it's worth my time. I will watch it. I will watch it. Yep. But it's, check it it's out. crazy. Uh, 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 Mike Epps has his special. I didn't check it out yet. He's got a new special? On Netflix, yes. Uh, I'm ready to sell out. Okay. Okay. Ready to sell All right. out. I haven't like seen that. that. So I, I haven't checked that yet. I watched um, um, Vince Staples... Show on Netflix. It's funny. Is it funny? Yeah, it's funny. It's like dry humor, but it's it's funny. Like okay, the okay. writing is pretty witty. I I, I enjoyed it. And it's, right. it's short, like half hour. All right, I'll episodes. give it a shot. So. I started watching Abbott uh, Elementary. Elementary. Hilarious. Hilarious. That show is funny. Yes, it is. Because I don't watch TV yeah. at all, yeah. and I sat down and watched it, and I thought it was pretty hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said you just admitted he's mildly funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, but uh, you know, just saying. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. 
Okay. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So uh, I was reading a report that a lot of people are starting to return their Apple Vision Pros to Apple. Really? Yes. And what's the reason for it? Well, the reason for it is what a lot of the reviewers were saying that it's cool, but it's not all the way there yet. So if you bought it because you thought it would be like, you advanced. know, advanced industry shifting, it's not there yet. So they're saying like, yo, it's $3,500. I want more money. And that's $3,500 I can use. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I agree. I agree. I'm. That's why I'm going I'm to I'm wait them out. Until they start giving away the migrants. Me no black. Me no black. Yeah. <laughs> vision. Me, me need a vision. Me need a pro vision. So me can see. Yeah. I learn, learn English through, through the pro vision. But me no black. Yeah. Me no black. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm away for them to get in. And, and Mark Zuckerberg was throwing shots again. He was on another podcast. And he was talking about... Um, because he thinks the 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 glasses, augmented reality, his, the ones his not the not the quest, the glasses. Remember the um the Ray Bans he had. Right. He said that's gonna be the, you know the new thing. Well, well, it's a little chicer. Yeah. And if it's there providing certain information that I need, yeah. Then you know, cause I I, I wouldn't mind wearing them because got the audio. Yeah. And they don't look like I'm walking around like a space zombie. <laughs> exactly. I want to be cool in my joints. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to adjust my joints. You know what I mean? And get all the information I need. You and know? Um, he said, because he was talking about, like, he was like, yeah, you don't want to put a chip in your head, like throwing shots at Elon Musk. I, I don't blame him. He was him. like, you don't want to be the first person to, to do that. Do you, you definitely don't want to do I that. I was like, look at him throwing shots, all right? Yeah. All right. I, I, I got to agree with him. Because remember, him and um, Elon was supposed to get in the, the octagon for the fight. And fight for a little bit, right? Yeah. MMA, I don't think, I don't yeah, know if that's going to happen. Two white people fighting, I don't want to see that. I don't care to see it. You know. Dad, I ain't getting a neural link. Nope, nope. I'm gonna hold on that. So, uh, uh, in other tech news, people are mad at uh, Google's AI program Genesis because when you type in uh, um, certain prompts, like you know, show me an image of the founding fathers, they'll give you a black man that looks like George Washington or dressed as George Washington, or show me Vikings. They'll show like black Vikings. Well, yeah. Vikings were black. His thing. His thing. His thing. You remember how when we talked about how mainstream they use the word woke as a derogatory term, mm -hmm. as a, as a adjacent to to nigger basically, mm -hmm. or black adjacent to black. I'll say. So now they're complaining. They say uh, Google's it's too black, too black. Yeah, too black, too strong. Yeah, they said Google's AI is woke, and that's on the front page of newspapers. Wow, like this is a woke AI, and you know. Uh, Progressive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let me, Steve Coakley asked the question 25 years ago. He said he got a $100 bet going. He's never met a white person named Washington. Hmm. And it made me start thinking. I ain't never seen no white basketball players, no white football players. He said, I ain't never seen a white person named Washington. Ah, interesting shit, bro. Yeah. And I was like, I started thinking of it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never met a white person named Washington. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. How crazy is that? Well, well, you know, we are, because people like to, you know, you New Yorkers, we got a bunch of Washingtons down here. Are they white? Just let yeah. me know. Just let me know if you if you grew up with some white Washingtons. So, so. And what I'm if, just saying, that's what Steve Coakley had to say. So what and if. he was traveling the country at the time. What if Google's AI was on to something? It was showing the original man. Just saying. So I'm saying, mine's blown. Boom. Boom. That explosion was really loud. My fault. <laughs> explosion. Just that is interesting. Same. Interesting. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. What about Jackson? I don't think I've... Have you ever seen a white man named Jack? Like Andrew Jackson? No, no. Mm. Interesting stuff. Google's AI might have might have just uncovered something. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Um, in other news, uh, Dame Dash was ordered to sell his Rockefeller shares to pay a judgment um, after he and um, he sued a film producer that they were working on in 2016. They, they were mm -hmm. working on a film called Dear Frank. And he sued him for defamation and copyright infringement. And uh, Dame lost that and had to pay a judgment for 
um, $823,000. So uh, Jay-Z tried to uh, stop the judge from doing that, but apparently they said that his share is a public property and they can be seized if he can't if he's unable to pay. Because mm. he was he still owns one third of Rockefeller. So Wow. So how's he gonna get out of that? I don't I don't think he can. So they he just forfeits his one third because he owed money? Yeah. Jeesh. Yeah he's going through it. Yeah, so remember, we, he talked about the child support that had to be low because he wasn't making a lot of money. This yeah. is happening. Yeah, he's going through it, man. And again, it's it's tough because um, when the history is written, he was right. Mm -hmm. When the real story mm -hmm. of what happened and him exposing the industry for what it was, yeah. but there's a price to pay to be right. Mm-hmm. Right, unless your name is Kanye West, who has proven number one album in the country independently after being in the industry for over twenty years. He getting those his streams from you. You running that album oh, into, I'm the that album into the ground? I, yeah. I ain't lying. It's a good album, right? But his staying power is something different. Yeah. So he may be the anomaly to this, but anybody else. Being right, that's why most people in Hollywood, the music industry, they look the other way. Because you don't want to be right and broke. you rather be wrong and rich. Yeah, or quiet and rich. Where's my bomb? <laughs> yeah, wrong yeah. and rich or quiet yeah. and rich. Yeah. Then, you know, right and broke. Yeah. And I just summed it all up for you. You know how many people... Know what's going on with the traffic and with all the stuff that's going on, and they just do like this. You know how many police officers who really know their partners are corrupt, and they do like this. You know how many nurses during that whole mm -hmm. situation knew this was ethically wrong and did like this, yeah. right? Because they didn't want to mess up their money, their mortgage, and all the stuff they had. And so it is a price to pay for being right, unless yeah. you're willing to say, welcome to Happy Burger. My name is Black Dot, may I take your order? Yeah. And how many people, and again, it's easier for me to do that because I'm I'm a thousand there, if that half the damn time. Yeah. So it's easy for me, but if I had millions and millions of dollars, I might go, come on, man, I work too hard for this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to mind my business. And so he came out, he was right on all fronts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he tried to do the distribution deal, gather up everybody, because he peeped game. One thing about them Harlem dudes, he, he was a hustler. Mm -hmm. So he understood it's the same concept. I need to be the plug. Why do I keep having to go to these real estate agents because mm -hmm. they the plug. Yeah. I don't no longer need them. I don't build my fan base up. We could become the plug. And everybody got arrested and went to jail and he told Jay-Z about this dude named Leo Lyle Cohen. Mm -hmm. He told him about him. He still went the other way. The list goes, he was right on signing Kanye. He said, I got the backpackers. I got state property on the street level. I got Dipset, who has a movement, and I got Jay-Z. We can't be stopped. That was his vision yeah. overall. Mm -hmm. Jay didn't like it because Jay wanted to be that dude and everything else, and then it just all crumbled, and he got left holding the bag, looking like the bad guy. And once they squeeze you, they squeeze you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now, you know what I mean? His one thing that he had as, you know, his possession that he could hold on to. And because somebody also mentioned in the, in the chat that uh, his shares must be worth more than 800. So maybe it'll help him get out of a financial crunch. Yeah, but if, but, if, 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 if he could hold on even longer, yeah, yeah. It, the value of it goes up. Yeah. So, you know, this is a game. This is a game that's played all the time. Jay-Z might be behind all this. You never really got damn no. Because he already might have a deal in place to buy them from homie mm. of that little uh, film yeah. director yeah. who ain't got nothing. Dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a bottle. And now he's got two-thirds. Yeah. And the other third go to his man Biggs. Yeah. 
He probably can just, yo, come on, son, yeah. and get the one thing that he wants. It's it's a long, drawn out process, and you hate to see it happen. But again, that's the price of being right. All right. Yep. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. Uh, did you guys hear what Mayweather said about Diddy? On the Pivot podcast? He said that he's not going to... Uh... He said he's not going to talk about Diddy because, you know, he's a black man. And then he said, you know, I don't agree with what he's accused of. He said, I don't agree. But if that was my daughter, my daughter made a choice. Okay. Um, that's a, 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 a statement by a nigga who can't read. <laughs> Basically. and I hate and, to say that. But... Yeah. And um, 50 got at him for that as well. Because here's the thing. I, I, I understand if your daughter is an adult... Technically, he's right, right? But how many of these women were drugged? Mm -hmm. How many of these women were under the influence of something? Because they said, even Gene Deal said, there's certain bottles you know not to touch because mm -hmm. those are for the ladies and they got all the stuff in them. How many were uh, uh, just brutally raped? Mm -hmm. How many were his influence is like a drug or the influence of power yeah took your 23-year-old daughter and put her in a, a situation that, you know, so it's, so, and so it's varying thing. scenarios and, and, when we talk about that. Thing, if you watch the interview, he kind of brought up Diddy, like, unprovoked. Like, they didn't ask him about Diddy, because why would you ask me whether about Diddy? Right, right. You get what I'm saying? So that's why more, that's, I think, why most people are kind of like, yo, tell me, you didn't, nobody asked you about him, and then you say that. Right. And again, like you said, technically... If your if your daughter was with him because his daughter was with somebody who else who got a baby mothers like whatever if that is her choice that is her choice yes, technically and he said I'm not I don't agree with it but it was just still like why well, yeah you didn't it, need to say anything you didn't need to say anything and then again when you when you're speaking about rape uh, well I can't say that when you're speaking about essay essay the Mexicans and all that when you <laughs> did you get that mm -hmm. essay the man so when you're speaking about this kind of stuff. You have to factor in a lot of different variables. You know what I mean? Like I said, a lot of them chicks was drugged. Mm -hmm. The one who's suing him now, I forget the singer's name, she was drugged. Mm. And when she woke up, there's a movie on Tubi right now called Tubi 10 or something where this dude was playing basketball. I didn't see the whole piece. He was playing basketball with another dude. He woke up, his pants, his shorts was down, his ankles... And his butt was hurting, and he didn't know why he had been uh, essayed. What? Yeah. 2B10, anybody seen that? What? Yeah, it's on tubes. Yeah. The hell? Yeah. Huh? And somebody said Money Mayweather is polite's homeboy. Very interesting. Yeah, Atlanta 10.0. ATL 10.0. It's on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, what? <laughs> and they talking about it like, nah, son. Atlanta's crazy. He was playing ball. Again, doing yeah. Dean him. Ah, ah, ah. And then he just woke up like, ah. <laughs> That's crazy. In the middle of the grass, he was like, what the fuck? Ow. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was bad. And then I think he had to relive the story, like go back. Oh, jeez. To find out. Ah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I had I'm a 10 point I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, well, you know. You might want to watch it just because you're in a situation and you're playing ball with somebody nah, you don't right. know. Yeah, I'm okay. And you know, he offer you a soft drink. Because that's what happened. They offered him like a drink. Yeah, have, uh, have this Gatorade. Have this Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, and maybe he was just trying to show a little love for his boy, Diddy. Yeah. But he went about it the wrong way because it's a very sensitive subject. Well, you know, this ain't him robbing an artist and you go, well, you know, you signed the contract. So it's, it's a little bit different when we start talking about SA and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's a little different. And, uh, and you again, know nobody I mean? asked you about it. Yeah, and nobody even asked you about it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we don't have to. Mm. Yeah. We don't have to say yeah. nothing. Yep, yep. Just saying. Just mm. saying. Somebody said I got dunked on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. You're listening to the sounds of Urban X. So I saw a report, uh, I saw a New York Post article that said Mal uh, Malaya, Malaya Trump. How do you say her name? I'm Obama, pause. Malaya Obama. 
Malia. Malia Obama. Malia Obama. She is dropping the Obama last name because she wants to become a filmmaker and she doesn't want to be known as a Nepo baby. And what name is she going to choose? She's choosing uh, Malia Ann. Why don't she just choose her real mother's last name? <laughs> These guys. Why not just go ahead and <laughs> start to choose your real mother's last <laughs> I name? I was gonna say that. And say yeah. because no, this is what you say because she's always been there. They was mm. best friends, and I admire her. I so I want to drop that. the Obama so that it doesn't affect you know the way people see me in films. And choose her real mother's name. And this is and okay, okay. Because the gig is up. To that credit. And then her cra- sister could go, you know what? To that I cra- wanna get into modeling. So why don't I do the same thing? This was one of those stories, and the reason why it kind of just piqued my interest is because you hear conspiracy theories, and then when something happens to kind of fit it anyway, no matter what way, it's always hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. So like when um uh, Michelle Obama came out with her book, and the book was called Becoming, and it said Michelle Obama at the Becoming Michelle Obama. It's yeah, just like, yeah. yeah, this kind of fits the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it kind of just fits the conspiracy. She's not lying. I am becoming <laughs> Michelle Obama. Right. So now this, when people say those are not the, their kids, and then she goes, I, well, I'm dropping my last name. She's an adult now. Girl, it your just, whole face is all over the place. It just fits, you, you know? can't hide. Yeah, I, I agree, but... You know, just so when people don't see the name, an old man could go, oh, we got to put her in a film. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, I get it. I get it. It's, just, it's interesting. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was interesting. Yeah. I'm going to suggest she takes on her real mother's last name. That's it. And so when history is told, it's told, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, real quick. Um, that story that we told about the, the kid in, he's in Texas? Yes. Uh, when he was uh, suspended from school uh, uh, because of his locks, I think his locks were too long, he lost that case. He lost the case. Yeah. Yeah, and they were out there. They, they, he, the one lady even held up. The judge said the, it didn't the violate the Klan sheet yeah. with the holes in it and said, this is Texas. And, you know, and so, but the question becomes <laughs> if he decided to identify as a transgender woman, I'm pretty sure his hair could be as long as he wanted to be. Mm. So he should maybe, out of spite, say, I am now identifying as a transgender woman and still wear his hair Mm. the way it is. Now, if you go against that, now you're breaking the laws. Mm. And now I can sue Texas on a whole... It looks a little little like a girl there. Not like a girl, girl, but like young and, you know, he got his his dreads out. So uh, so I I have a question, only a question, like... And, um, you know, if you guys know, you can answer. Like, was he? did he go to another school and they just kind of kept the fight up? Or, like, I hope they didn't pause his education for this. I hope not either. I hope he's in another school still continuing his education. However, again, if you can identify as anything you want, a bird. But Lord knows just created, uh, made a great point in the chat. He said, not in Texas, maybe in the blue state. Yeah, that's true. Not Texas. Yeah. Not that we kill your whole family in Texas. Mm. Not Texas. We don't play that. Yeah, that's true. So you identify as a girl, well, you know, not here in Texas. We don't play that. Yep. Um, and what else? Somebody, oh, they, they, you guys are talking in the chat. They're talking about uh, a lot of the actors and filmmakers who don't have their names. Yo, uh, like espionage, or, uh, what's these guys? They, they, uh. Who are you talking about? They really got the Spanish last names, but they changed it to, uh. Come on, you know the guys. Uh, it'll come to me. Give me, give me a live chat. Scorsese's daughter kept his name. Uh, Nicholas Cage. He somebody said Nicholas Cage doesn't use his real. Name. I know Gene, that's not his Gene real name. Is not his real name. Uh, you got a Spanish last name. Yeah, um, Charlie Sheen and Charlie Esposito or something. Or yeah, yeah. Who mm-hmm. no? Come on, Emilio Estevez. That's his real name. Hold on. Emilio Estevez. No niggas. Yeah. That's exactly who I'm talking about. No, the person who directed uh, um, The Godfather's Francis Ford Coppola, his daughter is a is a director now. She's really good, too. But she's not using Coppola? No, she is. Oh, Sofia okay. Coppola. Okay. A lot of real estate agents change their names. So they don't sound real estate. So they don't sound like yeah, they're yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. real estate team. Yeah, it happens. It's not uncommon. I didn't say it was uncommon. 
I just said change it to your mother's <laughs> name. That's all I said. I didn't say it was an un- it was uncommon. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Get yeah. your questions ready, and we shall return. Yes, Amelia Estevez is the younger brother of Charlie Sheen, right? So it's Charlie Estevez. Stop playing. Eh? What's good, fam? It's Malcolm here, and if you ever thought about starting a business, or if you have a business and you want to be able to, you know, make more sales, uh, build an audience, and things like that, um, if you don't know, uh, I have a suite of courses, five courses on YouTubing, podcasting, book writing, and a bunch of other stuff, and I'm making them available for absolutely free. Go take them, go, you know, uh, use what you can use to apply to your business. And if you need actual direct one-on-one help, then we can, you know, talk as well. But all you have to do is go to blackfamilybiz.com, blackfamilybiz.com, and they are available to you. All you need is an email, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Yo, Artie, can I holler at you for a minute? Pop tripping. He want me to ask you for the money for that shirt. You know I wouldn't even trip. What shirt? The one I sold you. The one I've been asking you about. The one you got on. Oh, this shirt. I ain't know you wanted the money, homie. I thought it was free. Let me go get the money for you. I mean, it, cause it's this blog. Me and my dad do Urban X and West. It's kind of like both ours. You know, I'm just. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit! That's my urban next street, punk! Come celebrate our urban wear and style with our exclusive clothing collection featuring powerful messages that inspire and uplift. Urban X presents its annual 29 for 29 sale where we celebrate our heritage, our culture, and our lineage. 29% off all items in our store, all $29. The choice is yours. Shop UrbanX.com. Wear the style, wear the images, wear the powerful messages that resonate with our community. 29 for 29 at UrbanX.com. Every day is Black History Month for us, but during this month and during this time, we will celebrate with pride like never seen before. Shop UrbanX.com. Shop UrbanX. Dot com. We're back. Yes, thank you for the continued support. Ladies, y'all see that foil and them crystals? Yeah, man. Listen, we got some really, really nice designs. And we down to the last seven days. What's today's date? Today is the 22nd. Yes. Oh, yeah. You got seven days. Exactly. Seven days left. Gotta go get it. ShopUrbanX.com. Yeah, this is it. Go get it. Everything back up to full price. March 1, I tell you. You know what I'm saying? We're not playing with you. We're not playing. We're not playing. So we have two shows after this one for you guys to get your act together. That's it. ShopUrbanX.com, 29 for 29 $29 or 29% off. That's it. Without the extra 40% for you slick ones. Slick out there. ones. A couple of y'all got through. And we... Mm-hmm. Just come out. Malcolm took that shit personally. Nah, seriously. Seriously. Like, I'm just... Like, it's... Like... Yeah. Like, come on. Well, if there's a loophole in your system... Come on, man. If somebody put money in my account, like that dude, I think he had like 60000 in his account. <laughs> his job paid him. His job paid him. He quit. He, he bounced. <laughs> he quit. He was, like, he was out. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is my come up. Yeah. God is good. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's God at work. Sixty grand in my account. Yeah. ain't supposed to be there. 
That is clearly the work of God. Yeah, yeah. God wanted me to have this money. I'm out. Also, guys, I didn't. I, I'm. 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 Uh, stand corrected. Did not know Nicholas Cage was a Coppola. That's his uncle. Yeah. Yeah. He's Coppola. Whoa. Yeah. Did not know that. Dude, if you start tracing all and, of this, and, back, and that's what pisses me off, because they it's, all are. It's you. You act. You think everybody is just random, and they not. A lot of them are cousins. Yes. And they're related. Dude, yeah. we found out what's his name. Um. Um. Lorenz Tate and uh Red. Uh, who's that? Red Fox. Yeah. Yeah. This is grandson. What? So, somebody tried to say it wasn't real. They talking about it in the show. I, I don't know, man. Oh. But still. Yeah, yeah. All of them is related. That's it's interesting, man. Interesting stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh let's get to some more stories, people. So apparently, a NASA craft has landed on the south pole of the moon called the Odysseus. A NASA craft. Yes. South side of the moon. Yes. It's Is the, that the dark side of the moon? Apparently. It says, first U.S. expedition since 1972 as it prepares to drill for water for an upcoming manned mission. Hmm. This so they're going to the send wire. a man to the moon. Yep. For what purpose are they sending man to the moon? I don't know. I mean, like, what's... Again, I'm just well, using... Uh, well, you know, we haven't been up there if since we went up there. If there's nothing up there, because you just was up there, homie. There was nothing up there. It was dust. Mm-hmm. Dust and clouds. and That's it. Yeah. So what, are you going to start a civilization up there? Hmm. Just asking. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Somebody... Oh, this is more, more facts. Didn't notice. He took the name Cage from Luke Cage because he's a Marvel fan. Did not know that either. Whoa. See, see. I liked Luke Cage when it was up there. Um, they got weird in the second season. They didn't know how to end it. Me and yeah, you know, I talk yeah, about that, yeah, you know, yeah. on Nerd Talk. I got to watch Avatar Last Airbender tonight because Eli is binging it. Want a cop? I am hoodie. 6'4", 240, linebacker, athlete, long time. We don't have none for you. We don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that. We got three, we got three X's, Dude, right? He's 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four, yeah, yeah. 240. We used to have 4X and 5X. Nah, nah, he don't need no 4X. No, no, because the 4X kind of fits like it's, you know, 3X is, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> We'd be said, giving you your money back. He yeah. said I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I respect it. I respect that. You know? See, what we got to think about the moon. Landing. Okay, uh, first of all, on the dark side of the moon, we all know that there's aliens there. Mm-hmm. It's an alien base there. The moon is not real. Come on, how many TikToks have you watched, Malcolm? Through that. It's not real. It's a satellite that was brought into this circumference so they can track us and soul trap. Mm. So when you leave Earth... And you going toward the light that shit ping you back down here as a baby. Yeah! You see these lights? Bam, they smack you in your ass. you like, oh shit, I'm back. Mm. You know what I mean? And now I'm back and I'm looking at these humans, mm-hmm. 85ers, knuckle draggers, mm-hmm. and they don't know what to do with me. Gotcha. And you know what I mean? And now I got to live this shit all over again. There was a, uh, yeah. some footage of a UFO... Uh, in the clear sky, you see it kind of blaze past, and apparently people are saying that act- that footage is actually legit. Yeah, yeah, it's called government uh, <laughs> technology. <laughs> they have saucers now that can do that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, why else would aliens be coming here, bro? Yeah. Yeah. For what? For what <laughs> purpose? To do what? Scare us? <laughs> <laughs> For no reason at all. It's your government who's going to pull off the <laughs> ultimate... <laughs> ultimate shit and have y'all like scared. I ain't gonna be scared because I know it ain't real. Not like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if they don't come off with afros on some old what's happening, brother? (laughs) We driving by. You figure you might need a ride up out of here. I I don't want to hear it. Okay. You hear none of that other shit. Your government is sicker than you think they are. I believe that. Yeah. Definitely believe that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Did you guys see a video of uh, Kodak Black. He was um, apparently attacking, throwing rocks at a newscast. He had just got out. Am I yeah, correct? he looks crazy. Like, he really needs help. Like, yeah, yeah. He yeah. really, really needs yeah, help. Yeah, I hope he gets the help he needs because, um, yeah, he definitely looked like he was off his rocker. Yeah, I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Like, and mm-hmm. he keep getting free. Like, he keep getting arrested and keep getting free. Yeah. Not yeah. too long after that. Yep. 
So I don't know, man. He 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 looks he looks sick. Um, Orlando Brown, he he back at it in the news again. Yeah, but now see. The way the dude was conducting the interview... It wasn't an interview. It was Oh, the like, way he was kind of like, you know, talking to him, it made Orlando Brown's comments seem not true. Trollish, yes. Trollish, yeah. so to speak. Even though he's made these comments before. And I'm not going to dismiss what he said entirely because... Again, they want you to think these people are crazy, but they are affected from what they've been through. They are traumatized by what they've been through, but the way homie was going about it was kind of trollish, which kind of lends credence to you can dismiss it. You can't really dismiss what Jaguar Wright was saying mm -hmm. because she was in her right frame of mind, and a lot of what she said, I'm going to say 85% of what she said was appeared to be true. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now you got people uh, just coming out the woodworks, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, solidifying these stories. So we know there is some truth. We know he was a Disney baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know what they do to those Disney babies. Side note, um, Nickelode going to Nickelodeon now, there was this girl who used to star in all of their shows. All that. She had her own show, Amanda, the Amanda show. Amanda Bynes, she was in a bunch of movies. I remember, yeah. And her, her now, she looks like a completely different person. Mm -hmm. She did a video talking about something else, but it didn't even look like the same person. Mm -hmm. And that goes into like just kind of what Hollywood would do to you. Remember the, yes. the Nickelodeon doc is coming out soon. I think her story would be in it. I don't yes. know what happened to her, but she just looks different, man. I don't know, man. I used to watch. You know, I used to watch Nickelodeon growing Side up. Side note, um, the. Uh, Freaknik. Oh, yeah, it's coming out. That's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it this week? Nah, it's in... 21st, 22nd? It's no. coming out in March. Oh, it's March 21st. Yeah, I think it's March. Okay, uh, Kelly Rowland is in a new movie. Yeah. I heard it's pretty good. Uh, I didn't, I, I didn't hear. I saw, like, stills from it. I don't know anything about oh, the movie. Oh, that's pretty good. I heard she's uh, in some hot and steamy scenes as well. Really? That's what I'm hearing. Oh, okay. Check that out. Two hot and steamy scenes. Yeah. Oh, I like, because I like Kelly Rowland. Man. Okay, yeah, well... I like in the room now. That's so, all. I want to give a shout out to a young girl, a 15 year old, uh, Jessica Hyatt, Urban Excellence Story, guys. Jessica Hyatt, all right. She wins the US, uh, US Chess Championship, earned a $40,000 scholarship, and she is one of the youngest people to be on track to be a chess grandmaster. All right. Youngest African American. Be a chess game master. I love it. She is from Brooklyn. She <laughs> attends uh, Success uh, Academy High School. From Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. That's, That's what chess. I'm talking about. And she is one of the top rated female chess players in the country. So shout out. I out. love it. Yeah. I love it. You know, chess is about strategy, strategic, mm -hmm. this, that, uh, among other things. You know what I'm saying? Forward planning. Uh, recovering, it's a lot that goes into it. I watched two on YouTube. This is a girl who is like a, she's a master. She's not a grandmaster, but her, both her parents are grandmasters. Okay. So she just be like uh, challenging people at the park and stuff like that. And then like one time she was going to get some dude, and then like she didn't she didn't tell what they have like rankings. Right. These chess players, and she didn't tell the dude what she was ranking. And he's going like, yo, tell me, like he's like. What's your rank? And then she told him, he goes, okay, this makes way more sense. How do you get rankings? You play in tournaments. Okay. And then you go from master to yeah, grandmaster. Yeah, grandmaster is like, and there's only a few of them. It's not like, you know. It's not like hip hop. I could just I actually, call myself I actually, Grandmaster Black Dot. Yeah, no, no, you can't just call yourself Grandmaster. Can't just do that. No. I got to go and yeah. play people. They're, they'll press you for that. I forget, uh, I met the Russian dude who uh, played against the computer in, back in the 90s. I forget mm -hmm. his name. But I met him before at, okay. a, at a conference. He's he's cool. You're a Russian mm -hmm. dude, yeah. She's got to own, got to earn that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now it's a younger dude, and he's like, I Ew. saw this little kid smoking these yeah. dudes out in the park too. Yeah, and then they saw the one dude who's playing twelve people at one time. You see that? Yeah, he's just walking bop bop bop, which is ill. Like, but your memory got to be sh sh yeah. sharp because how you know I didn't mm -hmm. you know do something? Yeah. So congratulations. What's her name again? Her name is Jessica Hyatt. Congratulations to Jessica Hyatt. Continue to be excellent. Continue to be excellent. We see you. It's lovely. Lovely. 
Oh, uh, yeah, Castle Prop. Yeah, that's his name. Thank you, D.K. Wilson. Somebody said Malcolm is capping. What's going on? I don't know what I'm capping about. But, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. um, somebody said, what day did Jonathan Majors get census? I don't know. But I do know that Marvel just announced that the next Avengers movie is not going to be uh, with Kang. Because remember, I thought they were going to recast the character. Right. And guess not. And they're, they're saying that, oh, no, we were moving off of Kang as the main villain before, you know, Jonathan Major stuff happened. That's a lie. All right, shout out to Jeff Robinson. Him and his wife are celebrating two-year anniversary. Hey, oh, congrats. That's cute. Two years. The jokes are still funny. Everything I love. I love you, too. I love you, too. You hang up. No, you hang up. Oh. <laughs> All that shit is good until you start carrying a knife. You know what I mean? Shit get real out here. You know, I got my jiggy with me somewhere. I keep it close by. Malcolm, how you forget? Because I met him first of all. I met him in 2021 at the Vault Conference with Patrick Bed David. I was at that conference. How you like that? Yeah. We he, seats. Exactly. You can see he was there. and He was one of the speakers. I met him there. And I just forgot his name. That was it. I don't follow chess, but you know. Ha! Naheem. Feel me? Um, Not here. Uh, what's, what have we been saying? Kang is related to is related to Reed Richards, apparently. And they say he might be related to Doom as well. Two distant relatives. We'll see. I want to see how they do it. Me and Eli talk about it tomorrow. Okay, you and Eli is up tomorrow? Yeah, for Nerd Talk. We'll talk okay. about it tomorrow. Yes, I did meet Patrick in, in, uh, at the vote conference in Miami. He's tall. Real tall. He's cool, too. Um, Let's take some questions. Get your questions ready. Bring them over. Bring them over. Bring these questions in here. Did you guys hear about the new KFC meal that they're about to bring to the United States? Now, tell me all about it now. Now, slow down now. It's, it's called the Cheetza. Sounds like it's, chicken and pizza. Yes. So, what they're doing is pizza, but, the, you know, instead of the base being dough, it's chicken with sauce and cheese. And sauce pepper. and yeah. cheese on top, on top of it. On top of it, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me run that around my head moves mm -hmm, a little bit. That's why your backs is wide now. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. you're trying to eat that cheetza. I can I can see myself ordering a cheetza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me uh, let me get a cheetza. I like pizza and I like chicken. Why wouldn't I make it yeah. one? Duh. That's smart on their part. Oh yeah, I see it right there. The cheetza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like pineapples on your pizza? Eli I think it was good. I actually tasted it, and it wasn't bad. Yeah, it's good. I said, this is weird. Yeah, same. And I ate a slice and said, oh, that, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So I can get pineapples on my chicken? Somebody said, so chicken palm. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is <laughs> yeah. chicken palm, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that wow, either. that is chicken palm. That is chicken palm. Yo, you yeah, see how easily yeah. we are convinced, like, something is brand new? Yeah, that oh, is yeah. chicken palm. That was a marketing lesson for everybody up here that was watching. They just created the same thing and just repackaged it into something else. And yeah. we going, yo, new shit dropping on the streets. It's chicken palm. It's chicken palm. Good on you. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's right. Interesting. That is a chicken palm. Oh, man. Yeah, now, KFC is always trying something. Remember they made the the, um, the chicken sandwich, but the, the buns was the chicken? Remember that? Yes. That yes. was crazy. Yeah, guys. Yes. That was crazy. Okay, you need Marcos, uh, all jokes aside, remove negative active spirits in your how, how, how do you? Oh, uh, you can save. So this is what this is what um um ascending infinite goddess told me, right? Mm -hmm. So when you sage out your place, you're leaving nothing there and anything could come in. You clean it out, but you're leaving nothing there. Okay. So you gotta sage it, then go uh, on the back end with incense. To, 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 to add a positive vibration. Yes, yes. One of my elders always taught me, take garlic cloves and throw them in each corner of your apartment as well. That's something else you could do along after you sage to kind of give you a neutral, then you burn your incense and just garlic cloves mm. is really, you know, and not just about vampires and shit. Garlic cloves in your corners is just another way, you know, and play play real positive music in your house too. Right? Because you're looking for ways that things can't enter in. Positive, everything positive. Yeah. Everything positive. Facts. Huh? What about it? And get an appointment. And, 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 get and book an appointment, an appointment with Ascending, with Ascending Infinite Goddess. Infinite. Yeah, I mean, that's what you should have did to begin it. You know what I'm saying? You're asking the wrong people. You're asking you the wrong people. A resident right, right here. She in the chat right she, now. You ask me, I'll tell you all kind of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Um... 
Somebody said Avery and Crockett's hip hop story. I want to see that. I do want to see it. I do want to see uh, that. It comes out today. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow it comes out yeah. at one theater, AMC Theater in I, I think um in Baychester. Oh, for real? Yeah, yep, yep. Theater okay. 13. And so uh maybe I'll go see because I definitely want to see it. It looks funny. Mm. It's like a CB4 kind of kind of thing. And uh he because he plays so many characters, yeah. he was probably able to do most of the heavy lifting on his own. I'm willing to give it a listen, a mm. watch. I wonder if uh, anybody that he's spoofing is going to be angry at it. Mm, interesting. We'll see. We I, will see. Because I haven't seen like anybody really talking about it. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Well, he's he's got a shoestring budget. He was on um, Sherry Shepard's show. Okay. You know what I mean? Talking okay. about it. And he said it's an honor when he does Ah, uh, okay. okay. And, uh, that's, what, that's what I would say, too. Yeah. And he also said... Um, uh, uh, MC Light redid her Light as a Rock song oh, okay. for him because she only owned half the rights to it. And so she had somebody, they had somebody recreated it. And yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like, uh, you know, scary movies, it's a spoof. Right, but right. he's like, he's Russell Simmons, he's Jay-Z, he's yeah, Kanye. he's Chris like, Rock, he's, he's a bunch uh, of people. Joe Budden, like he's everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the movie, so I'm actually... Uh, interested. They also coming out with the spoof movie. Remember, uh, uh, not another church movie, the Tyler Perry spoof. Remember that? Yes. I wonder how they got that. How they got that through. Yeah. I wonder if that's yeah. coming out. But Jamie Foxx was in it. Wow. Yeah, he sure was. Jamie Foxx. It was a, a few Did people watch Carbon Nation, Nature Boy Trial. No. I do not. No. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about that. I'm that's not a part of the conscious community. I don't know nothing about <laughs> Carbon nothing Nation about that. Yeah. or Nature Boy. I just know they was in the jungle. But they came out to go grocery shopping. That's all yeah. I remember about that. I don't know them. I didn't run across them. They're not on my, you know, timeline of stuff that I've or people I've come across. So Oh my bad, Quanes. Did we miss your question? Actually again, my bad, Quanes. Sorry, Quanes. I don't be I don't be meaning to. My fault. My fault. Why are you getting your question ready? Um, did you guys see this woman? She got arrested for having a child do Waxes? Brazilian waxes. Yeah. Which is embarrassing. That is crazy. And and, 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 about, and what about the women who were sitting down there? Butt ridiculous. ass. Butt ass. In front of this little girl. Me, yeah, yeah. Again, not good. Not good. Not good at all. I don't know what, what goes on with some of these people, bro. I really don't. Goodness, man. I really don't. Um... My bad. My fault. My fault, Quan. My fault, Quan S. My fault. Didn't mean to miss it. Um, there was a motocross, like a dirt bike uh, rider who died today in practice. He was the first person to land a triple backflip in competition. He tried it today in practice. Died. Jeez. Yeah. Well, he, he, you know, His name that... is... Uh, hold on. His name is Jaden Archer. Died today. Yeah, well, our condolences to him. But it, it's uh, crazy. That was his passion. Yeah, that, that's a sport. And, and that move, because I saw him, I saw the move landed, like, mm -hmm. right in competition. But that's one of those things where, like, you land it, cool, you don't, it's a wrap. Yeah, and I'm not willing to take those chances. Yeah. Yeah, those chances I'm not willing to take. Sheesh, man. Chicken uh, Parmesan. That was funny. That was a good one. Sheesh. What the hell? Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. <laughs> like, why did I think of that? That was a good one. Let's take some more questions, guys, before we get up out of here. Let me see if we got any more stuff going on. I think we got to everything. Oh, the trans basketball player. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Oh, boy. We didn't talk about that. Again, for, for, for the last three or four years, we, as a society, have been stuck on stupid. Yeah. We agreed to allow the most bizarre things to happen, and now we're going, yeah, that didn't, that didn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. And, and that basketball player is literally elbowing these girls in the mouth, grabbing rebounds, putting up buckets. Yep, the girls' team was forced to forfeit after the opposing player injured three of their players. Three of their players. Yeah. Some nigga acting yeah, like a girl yep. out here knocking these chicks over for buckets. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna put my daughter in harm's way. Yeah, and you know, because you, you that doesn't mean you're a bad person. No, it doesn't. It doesn't it mean you're a bad you, person. You're protecting your daughter. And you I'm have, not talking to y'all in the chat. But you, know you what have I'm not talking to you guys listening. And standards. Yeah. That's why they have 
the women's league and the guys league. And it's not a sexist statement. It's, you know what I mean? So they need to have the trans league. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where all y'all can get together. And it's usually trans men. Rarely do you see trans women going up with the guys talking about. So it's just these weird white men. Yeah, basically. You can call it what you want. These weird ass white men who hate their dads. But. Who, who, who started doing all this weird shit. But So that's the point. But there is the, the people who are pushing this agenda on a lot of kids are white women. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I've seen how many court cases yes. have we seen yes. where a mother and a, and a guy and a father getting divorced because he was like, "Yo, they, he's trying to, she's trying to get my son transition." Yeah. And what, what the hell? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Interesting mm-hmm. stuff. Interesting stuff. Listen, man. Listen. Uh, any more questions before we get up out of here, man? I'm ready to start this week, and I'm going to see Godfrey. He's hilarious. He's like you know that. I mean? He is like like very very funny. I was very impressed when we went to see him live last year. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually just I'm, I'm grinding this weekend. That's why I just got to work. I understand. Gotta work. I understand. Gotta Get work. that work done. Um, what else we got, guys? Um, uh, somebody said, are they, why are these women continuing to get these bootleg BBLs? Another one passed away. Didn't know that. I, you know what I've been seeing a lot lately? Uh, a lot of porn stars committing uh, or unaliving themselves lately. Really? Yeah. Like, I saw uh, uh, one... Why do you think that is? I, I, maybe, you know, just the, the nature of the profession can't deal with what you did. Not, o- not only that... Can't deal with how people are seeing you now. You have... Every time you have unprotected sex... With somebody, that person never leaves you. Mm. Everyone knows that. And so um, when you do that on a regular basis, all kind of weirdo conjunction, Mm. demonic energy is inside of you. And it makes it easier for walk-ins now to take over and make you do all kind of wild stuff. Crazy, crazy. So uh, the guy, what's his name, Yaki Awakening? Yes. He was on, I forget, I don't know who's, who's... Platform he was on, but he was just talking about how um, a man's semen enters a woman's brain, like it stays in a woman's brain, right? So as he was explaining it, there were people clowning him. There was people trying to make you know we got to stop listening to these whole tabs. And then people in the comments were getting at them like, no, no, no. There is like scientific fact that there is a member. First of all, a membrane that these have. To be. Like it was interesting because that's the first time I saw a lot of defending the whole tabs because when when People yeah. when, you know, fake intellectuals try to, you know, call yeah. you a whole tap or something like that, that becomes a thing. But I, I saw that. And and, and and Bobby taught us that years ago. Yeah. They they never leave. It's always I see that. Side note, yeah, we are meeting separately this Sunday. This is the last Sunday, yes. It's the last Sunday. Yes. So for the UX ninety members, uh you know, the women, you, you stay where you at, the fellas. And come on over on our Zoom, and yeah. we, uh, you know, we can get it together. Nice. And you can join up too and become a member. Yes. And tune in and see what it is that we do. Yes. Get the first seven days YouTube, free. YouTube, some really good stuff, really good topics that we um, we discuss. Yeah. And uh, with that being said. Yes. With that being said, another one is in the can. With that being said, thank you guys for joining us. Don't hit, don't forget to hit the like button on. The way out, help us get to a thousand likes, please. Please help us at least We'd do that. We appreciate it. We asked y'all last month to tell a friend to tell a friend, and y'all ain't told a friend. Tell a friend, man. Yeah, tell a friend to tell a Just friend. Grab their phone and be like, Psh, please subscribe. Let's do that for us. We appreciate yeah. it. Um, I don't know about the, all the people dancing to uh, uh, Beyonce's new country song. Uh, you put the ring. Gay men always dance to her songs, though. Like That's yeah, like yeah. built in. Yeah, yeah. And she's number one, I think, on the country charts, or she was trying oh, to be. Oh, word. Yeah, I think so. Listen, yeah. man, listen, we're going to see. Yeah. We're going to see. It's popping off. Oh, see, Lewis. apparently Nas Barkley is coming out of a new album. Nas Barkley. I like CeeLo, but he wore that dress on that he album cover. He did. It was disturbing to me. That's it was on the album cover? I think it was on the album. It was on the Nas Barkley album cover. Really? Yeah. Damn, I like Nas Rocky too. And I, I think I can beat him. He's short. Sort of reminds me of when um, 
Tory Lanez was on Hot 97. Oh, yeah. The first time I saw him, <laughs> he was up there kicking mad bars. Yeah. I was like, yo, shorty, got it. And then he jumped off the stool and looked like a dwarf. <laughs> Walked off and shit. I was like, what kind of sorcery yeah. is this? Nigga jumped right off his seat and was like a dwarf. It's like, oh, only half. I said, who that little man walking by? Yeah, so, yeah. I think I can beat... Uh, See you on the fight. Uh, um, drum major, I don't know about that story about the black high school coach strangling his girlfriend. I don't know about that one. Carl uh, Carney Jr. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Just remind me, remind us. Um, with that being said, guys. With that being said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, hit the like button on the way out, please. Visit shopurbanx.com. To uh, take advantage of the 29 for 29 Black History Month sales almost up. Yes. Uh, UX90 members, our members, we are meeting this Sunday, 9 a.m. Fellas only on one side, ladies, ladies on the other. Ladies only on the other side. We're going to, can't wait to see you there. And peace. Peace.